it's Matt, welcome back to the shop and today we're going to look at the uh, ethanol the ethanol update so just jump straight in for those of you who don't know who haven't seen the original ones of these videos um, you hear a lot of all this crap about ethanol in fuels and all the Americans are scared so it's time to get out your firearms and fucking go out and shoot some ethanol <laughs> basically what we've got in here is 90% ethanol and it's got 10% water just because of the jug that it came in. Um, but we're basically just looking at samples that I've left in here. God, I can't remember, it's been months now, but I'll put up on the video um, how long it actually has been. And we'll also pull you in. There we go. And then move the centre of this to the middle. There we go. So this is, uh, let's see if I can remember what these are. This is ABS. So. Again, nothing wrong with it. The uh, ethanol itself hasn't changed colour or anything funky like that. So ABS is fine, which is what a lot of fairings, especially all the fairings, are made out of. Uh, next we have a uh, float ball from a carb. Uh, this is not a brand new one. This is a second hand one. And uh, Come on, you fucker. This is a bitch to get out, is this one. But let me give it a poke. A scratch, it doesn't feel. So I'm fucking get my meat hooks in there. I've got some curved tweezers somewhere. Fucking that stinks. Stinks of alcohol, obviously. <laughs> so, what we are going to do is after this, after it's run its course for a while, I'm going to then add petrol to it and see if that makes any difference because people are arcing on about that. Um, oh, that seems hard. It's not sticky, it's not anything. Of course, it won't do. It's a solvent. All it's done is just make a really good job of cleaning it. So this was the Piaggio, um, this is actually from Piaggio themselves, this is a fuel filter, as you can see she's gone quite yellow, why has it gone yellow, has it just taken the dye out of the filter material or what? It seems pretty hard, it's not sticky, no it seems the same, that bit's not been in it, that bit's been in it. The yellowy dye colour may have come from whatever is in this filter material, but that isn't blocked. As far as I'm concerned, the ethanol itself doesn't look like it's whatever. He was saying there was some white bits, and I can see some white bits in the fluid. So maybe something, maybe some of the glue. It might be some of the glue from the filter. We'll have to basically chop this up and have a look but there might be something to that but that's Piaggio he was basically saying he put his fuel filter in there's all these white bits so there is I don't know how well you'll be able to see that there is some white bits floating around in there as you can see so that is what he said happened uh, we've got some oh, this is an old inner tube from a push bike was this old or was this new I think this was new so this is new rubber, this is real rubber. Nothing wrong with that. Literally, it's not sticky. It's nothing wrong with that. If we leave that to dry, it'll be fucking exactly the same. Ethanol has done what ethanol does really well. It's just cleaned it. Uh, we've got some O-rings here. So these are butylene nitrile O-rings. Nah, there's fucking nothing wrong with them. It's not sticky, that's just O-ring. It's a very clean O-ring. Um... This is a Vital O-ring. Uh, you can see that little, you can see it in the bottom there. This is a Vital O-ring. Again, nothing, no snapping, no brittleness. It just feels exactly the fucking same. In here we've got a bit of, this is a uh, uh, butterfly, aluminium butterfly. There's nothing bloody wrong with that. From a card. This is a bit of uh, PS... I think this is... is this PA6? Um, no, this is this is uh, P. this is polyethylene from our KTM thing we had. Nothing to get on about, it's nice and stiff as it usually is, and so on. A bit of magnesium from our clutch cover. Oh, uh, it's got a bit of paint, oh well, a bit of the coating, a bit of the paint and the actual bare uh, magnesium. Nothing wrong with that, hasn't fripped up, hasn't gone dead or anything shit like that. This is the brass from a carb, this is a jet, again, just looks exactly the same, nothing wrong with that. We'll see all these at the end. Now, 
This is a old, a really old uh, hose from a fuel line from a tank. Now this was mucky, not mucky as fuck, but it was petrified and knackered. So it already looked like this and it was already stiff um, and it was already grey on the outsides. We'll take a closer look at this when I actually do the final video on this. But she doesn't seem to have gone brittle, it's not blistering or cracking. It's just the colour you can see in there is probably all the fuel that it's washed out with it. Because ethanol is really good at that. This is um, uh, high density, oh no it's MD, this was MDPE, so this is polyethylene, polythene. This was from a second hand 1983 I believe Honda CR fuel tank. You can see on the inside, that's actually what the petrol did to the inside. This is actually white plastic, you can see it's mucky as fuck. It's a white plastic, like a cream plastic. The petrol had done that when we even started and all this has done is, is, is fuck all because polyethylene is really resistant to ethanol so people saying all fuel tanks and what have you this thing's as stiff as a wedding prick as old Canadian hand says stiff as Michael Jackson's left lip uh, this is an old o-ring this is out of a uh, carb so basically again what it's done is is it's just washed all the petrol out of it um, the o-ring itself still feels exactly the same you know it's rubbery you can fire that across the room it hasn't snapped, it hasn't gone brittle, it hasn't dried out, it hasn't done fuck all. So we'll get to that one in a minute, that's a special one. Again, this is a diaphragm, this is half a diaphragm from the ER5, old carbs. Again, it just seems to have washed out all the fuel. Um, that's the colour of it. Uh, there's some floaty bits which just look like shit, to be quite honest, that was in this seal, because we, we I just basically didn't clean this, I just dumped it straight in. Rubbery. You know, alien style. Oh, you can't fucking see that. Yeah, just rubbery, not dried out, not knackered. Um, this is our, oh, what was this? This was the PPPE, I think, from the KTM handlebar, uh, from the KTM plastics from the guard. This is a new plastic they're kind of using, a thermal set uh, jobby. Again, the plastic seems fine. It seems to have washed some of the dye out. That's all it seems to have done. Uh, nothing dramatic, and like I say, you're not going to soak. It's just some kind of plastics I want to show that wash out dyes and ones that don't. This is the slide from a carb as well, which is also exposed. Aluminium looks perfectly fine. It's done a really good job of cleaning it, to be quite honest. And finally, we have... Um, one of the additives that is put into fuel, and I just wanted to have this run along the experiment at the same time. I was talking about um, arabatic and um, aromatics and arabatic um, solvents and stuff like that. And these are the same O-rings as these ones. This one is in the 90% ethanol with 10% water, just because they were came. This is xylene, which is an aromatic um, solvent where ethanol is not. And these have been stuck in here pretty much the same amount of time. Oh, yeah, you see the tacky, I can feel it tacky, it's sticky. And the surface, the surface is a bit weird, it's like mottled almost. Still alright though, I'm still not fucking dying. Um, but yeah, the O-rings are generally manufactured now, so they can pretty much take a lot of the um, hydrocarbon solvents that there are around, be them alcohols, um, be them aromatic, be them whatever. But what we'll do is we'll carry on with this in a month or so, we'll do this again, and then once we've done, basically I want to get up to the six month mark, because then that just kind of kills it dead. Once we get to the six month mark, I will basically measure out all of these as they are, so for this one, what we'll do is we'll just remove 50, but this one that's stained, we'll just remove 50% of it, and then we'll add another 50% petrol. So it's kind of like a 50-50 comparison. Why? Well, because petrol might react with ethanol in some kind of way. I don't believe that whatsoever. But just say if it did, then if we've got 50% ethanol, 50% petrol, and give it a good fucking shake, then we know that there's the the most the, the that's the best mix of petrol to ethanol yes you're not going to get a fuel out there generally that's 50 50 but you know we'll get to see what it does um 
What I might even do actually is cut all of these samples in half. That's a good idea. Let's cut all these samples in half when we get to that point. So if there's you know so many O-rings, if there's four O-rings, we'll put two in the 50-50 mix and then we'll put the other half of all of these samples into straight up petrol. No fucking ethanol whatsoever. And we'll see after another six months which one does the most damage to all of these samples. So again, this is just an update. There'll be more to come soon. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit.